Science has shown what many imagined, the existence of unknown deep sea creatures that could help in medical discoveries. Ivan Taylor takes us to this voyage to the unknown in our special report, Creatures of the Abyss. At first sight, they look like fireworks. They are not. It's not a meteorite shower either, or a star constellation. This is the deep sea. We are talking about deep sea bioluminescence. These are depths beyond 100 meters, at crushing pressure in a very cold place, where temperatures don't go higher than 4 degrees Celsius. At that depth, and even deeper, leave the creatures of the abyss. They use it to help them attract a mate in order to find food. You remember they use light to survive, to attract a mate, find food, and hide him from predators. Dr. Edith Wither is the president of Ocean Research and Conservation Association, ORCA. She is one of the few female scientists who has dived deep in search of the creatures of the abyss. Scientists have dived on submersibles like Dr. Wither and turned off the submersible lights to film the bioluminescence. It's a spectacular light show. Imagine being around fire while underwater. And the color these creatures easily identify is blue. For this reason, Dr. Wither developed a camera system with red light, which the animals can see. I turned it on 86 seconds after I turned it on. The first time I turned it on, 86 seconds later, we recorded a squid more than six feet long, something so new to science that remains to be classified. But not all of these creatures are giants. I always give the example of the movie Finding Nemo. When Nemo and his friend Dory fall into the abyss and they find that magic light they keep following and it turns out it's the bait from a deep sea anglerfish who's trying to eat them. It has enormous teeth. In reality, that fish is small, no bigger than the palm of your hand. Dr. Sara Frias is the only female Hispanic scientist who has studied the applications of what happens in the deep sea. Why is this important for people? Scientists have discovered a way to use bioluminescence to literally light up the interior of a cell so we can see how they work. And this has applications when we study terrible diseases such as cancer, Parkinson's or Alzheimer's. Such chemical compounds are routinely mixed in a lab. We did the same with the red and the blue. so much to learn. But here's a detail. Each submersible dive costs $25,000. Ocean Research and Conservation Association doesn't have enough funds to investigate all the oceans in this way, even when 70% of the planet's surface is ocean. Frias compares the situation with the space exploration. The cost of only one space shuttle launch will provide enough money to dive with a submersible twice a day, every day, for 100 years. Scientists say we have barely explored 10% of the deep sea. There are creatures in the abyss and all indicates we could benefit from them. How ironic. Sometimes our own priorities make what is so close so difficult to see. Ivan Taylor reporting, back to the studio.